blessings dear souls on this amazing auspicious day we reached solstice today halfway through 2020 and i'm here broadcasting and exchanging soulful musings with uh, a dear friend and a dear light worker creative spirit live from herself from Denmark and myself from UK, although I am Greek, so we have got a bit of Greek element to it as well. Uh, here we are, myself, Chrisula, the Golden News, and my dear Lena, Lena Nielsen. Welcome, dear. Thank you so much, Chrisula. Well, as we all go through this uh, wonderful journey, uh, of awakening and understanding ourselves more, understanding who I am, understanding how I can be more of service and allowing to be more of service. And how can we allow to be more of service? That's, that's something that we both, myself and Lena, we have uh, gone our, or go through our own individual challenges, right? <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and we're here to share from our hearts and uh, hopefully you're going to receive some uh, golden nuggets, golden gems from our exchange of soulful musings, mm. uh, all in very playful and colorful and joyful intentions coming from our hearts. And of course, because we would love to um, share with you our whys and our mission and our vision and what we are bringing to the world. And both of us, we're very much involved and passionate about the Rainbow Letters to Mother Earth, the, the, the project that you may have already heard of, or you may not know much about, or you would like to know more and you would like to participate <laughs> because we would love you to be part of this project. Uh, so you find out uh, a few things around that. You will connect with, with me individually and with Lena as well and, and her vision and mission and her part in the Rainbow Letters to Mother Earth. Uh, this global opportunity and, and opportunity for all of us to come together, but particularly for, for young authors, for young people to rise to the challenge, raise the challenge and to say yes to participating and bringing their own talent and their own voice out. So Lina, my dear heart, first of all, the connection between us is, is through color, right? <laughs> so we both love working with color. Um, myself as a uh, energy healer as a color psychologist. I'm working with a system of color mirrors and also heart intelligence and a few other tools in my toolbox and yourself say yes to your own creative spirit. And I connected with Lena back in September at a wonderful event uh, in south of France where the sun was shining and I felt so, so beautifully relaxed and loved by all the people there coming from different parts of the world. And this is where I am sitting and I am paying attention to what's happening around you, being very mindful, being very conscious because I was there with a, a real mission <laughs> to connect with other people and connect with my own gifts. And here we are, Lena in front of me, drawing very, very, sort of playfully and uh, in her own world, connecting with what's happening around her. And I was seeing, I was seeing the drawings from, from behind her. I said, wow, these are looking really good. I said, I better just tell Lena that I really like what she's doing. I wonder whether she knows. <laughs> so this is my, my first connection with you, Lena, and uh, with your gift. And since then, you have gone through your own shifts and your own transformation, yes? And I would love to hear from you how, where you are now, something that actually spoke to you, that you were drawn to, you felt the calling, despite the fear, despite the challenge. <laughs> and you're here to 
say yes to your own gifts and accepting your own gifts. Yes, and thank you so much actually also for seeing my gifts, for seeing your gifts and for seeing my gifts. I think that's one of your great gifts that you see and create the space for others to bring their gifts to the world. And that's what's happening with the rainbow letters to Mother Earth, mm -hmm. giving that space to children to share with them the message that what they create out of their heart, out of just sheer joy of creating it is totally perfect as it is. Mm -hmm. And that it's beautiful and has a message and meaning for more people than just for them. I shouldn't say just because that's totally enough, but that it's, it's so worth sharing with each, with each other when we connect with all of the, the joy with who we are and that we are able to express that. Mm. And I feel that very strongly because I had uh, many years where I did not connect with that. And I had actually gone to France where we met and I had other ideas for what I was going to do, making shifts in my life. And I went with the intention of just listening to what would what would appear and just listening for what was calling me without knowing what that was i thought i knew but i allowed that i would just be listening and when i was listening to the amazing speakers who were sharing from their hearts so so really spending time and being with people who are true to who they are and and would like to share all of the ups and downs and, and all of what is is really really special and I was just drawing and just catching whatever impressions not what they were saying or not what was on the slides or being presented but what I felt and I think that was so special to in that way listen to me to what I felt and express that and then to be seen and understood um, in that context was truly, truly liberating and amazing. Mm. Yeah. So for me to give that opportunity to the children via the rainbow letters is, is very special. Mm. I had spent since fifth grade not drawing <laughs> um, because of a teacher who yeah, really, really criticized one of my drawings that, and right now I think the, the houses and the architecture looks really a lot like that. But at that time he wanted all of the round <laughs> forms and shapes and I didn't do those. Um, and I actually allowed to let that stop me from, from drawing for many, many years. Mm. And only recently felt that, that it was calling me. And I'm so happy that I leaned into the faith and and just yeah, yeah embraced it and allowed it to be part of my life again. So for me, it's much more than than just participating as an illustrator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Well, you're bringing your own unique energy and essence in the whole project, in the community, in the in every single expression of what you are bringing out there, Lena. Mm. And we can only do that when we have faith. We have faith in, uh, in life. We have faith in, in the universe. And that makes us feel that we have faith in ourselves too because we are part of life. We are part of the universe. We are one, right? Yes. Yes. So... And then talking, going back and, and referring to the, the story that was created when you were a child, that your drawings were not good enough or you were not skilled enough or whatever that story could have been. Mm -hmm. That's an addiction that we create mm -hmm. without even consciously being aware that we create it. And there's a point where you say, I no longer want to hold myself back 
because of that story, because, because of that addiction of not being good enough. Mm. And, then, and then you start digging, digging, and going a bit further down, and then you are bringing out your gold. And that's the process that we are all going through at different stages in our lives. Mm. So you have been digging for some time, but now it's your time to shine your gold, right? Yes. <laughs> and I think one of the special things about the drawings is that I still don't try to make them perfect. I still, st I want to stay because that's the place where I feel one and whole where I listen truly from the ear behind the ear and share what I hear and see and feel. Mm. And then I always say, you're welcome to order drawings. That would be awesome. But I can promise you that I have no idea what they're going to be like because I don't have an image in mind that I'm going to try to, yeah, yeah recreate it's... or express or it's whatever, whatever happens and whatever feels um, like the message of what it is that we're trying to, to capture. Yeah. So that's a completely different way of doing drawings than, than to focusing on the, the outcome. Well, I would, I would say the way I, I feel, where well, I connect with mm -hmm. what you just said, that mm -hmm. you would just follow your intuition. And your intuition as it comes, as it flows. Mm -hmm. When we're allowing to be in that flow, then inspiration comes through. And then that's, that's where your truth, you connect with your truth. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not a, a prescribed truth. Yes, it's not a following a recipe or following, a, I would like you to add that bit and that bit and that bit. It's, it's actually coming out from your heart spontaneously and I, I love that spontaneity in your mm. work as well I love that the cheekiness as well in your work that's another thing I love <laughs> yeah uh, and then you bring a lot of a lot of you know you you remind us that uh, you know art doesn't need to be serious you know it doesn't need to be hard work it can be spontaneity it can be laughter it can be playfulness mm. It and so be. much joy <laughs> and joy yes yeah. yes yeah yes and that's what we need to remind also and our children because i bet there are lots of children that would love to be part of this project the rainbow letters to mother earth but there will be this little voice these little whispers mm -hmm. that will say who are you to send a letter to be seen by so many people who are you to send your drawing or illustration how about if people don't like it? How about people criticize it? How if, and then we start thinking in that negative way. Mm. So what I like with this project is to say, send in your illustration, send in your letter, your poem, your fictional story, send in whatever comes from your heart without thinking, without worrying, without putting any questions around it because you feel I would like to write to Mother Earth. I would love to connect with Mother Earth. I've got something I like to share and it doesn't matter if it's perfect. I don't want it to be perfect actually. <laughs> I just love, love, love to connect with, with the way you feel with your voice, with your emotions, with your, with your inner world because I value what you've got to say. Your words, your vision, how you feel, matter. Mm. And that's the bottom line, that we need to remind our children that despite all the expectations that we may have as adults, we need to allow them to be them, mm. to allow them to share how they feel, to share their voice. I think that's the amazing thing of being the lucky one to be a parent for a young child of 13, a young, almost a young man. Um, 
who would like to be part of the project and it turned out completely different than what he thought because his unique expression is through jewelry so he's created something in silver and just to to be part of that process um, with him is such a joy and just to allow him to have his expression and his unique connection with mother earth with the metals and with colors and 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 his whole whole journey mm. is is amazing and i think the extra extra <laughs> uh, surprise that we received was that i was drawing and i was just feeling into the letters of of the rainbow and then i was telling him about it in 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 i think in the car or something and then the next morning when i got up on the <laughs> On the kitchen counter, he had made a suggestion for me on how to do the O. So all of a sudden, we were co-creating. He just he so got it. <laughs> so I was like, wow. So, so much joy is coming out of when I allow that I don't know everything. I don't need to know everything. And I'm playing with it. And I'm inviting him in. And that, that he really gets it. And that he, that he also sees things and, and understands his own way of interpreting the letters and the possibilities of of the way of playing with with the way that we see this that was just amazing and you spot on absolutely lena spot on because one of the letters in the word rainbow is i and i stands for different things positive words are starting with i it could be imagination it could be intuition it could be uh, intellectual inter intellectual sort of seeing things from the, your intellect it could be interpretation it could be illumination so there are lots of ways that if you just look at the word rainbow and and the richness that mm. this word can bring in yeah but let's concentrate on what you just said interpretation mm. so how it comes from you as a child as a young person as an adult how does it how does it feel to connect with the idea of rainbows the idea of mother earth and what does mother earth is all about you can see from the the voice of the animals you can represent the plants you can represent the ocean the sea the rivers the sky the stars all the wonderful phenomena that we are blessed with the aurora borealis the you know all the beauty that we've got in rainforest you know, in the, in, the, in the barrier reef, connecting with the corals because they are suffering. They would like to have their own voice out there. So you can represent, I say this and I'm feeling goosebumps, you know, you can represent and you can give voice to any of these beings, any of these wonderful phenomena and, and you can be their voice. And what I feel is that when we embrace who we really are, mm. that we often do through connecting with Mother Nature, but also that when we are truly connected, feeling one with everything, then it's so natural to take amazingly good care of Mother Nature. And it's really, we can really feel that, mm. that we can nurture nature, but also the other way around is actually even more significant. We are nurtured by being in, in nature. And it's exactly what I like to say now. It is about interdependence, right? That's exactly what you just described, that we are nurturing and we're being nurtured. Mm -hmm. So yes. there is this interdependence. And I love when you say, you know, it's nice to have this dance between people mm. and between us and the elements and between us and whatever is around mother earth because mother earth is is a planet yes but there are the planets so you could see it in so many magical ways you can if you love to work with us with the planets you can discuss your connection with with planet earth and other planets you know what there's no limitation really <laughs> either way in a way <laughs> There's no, no limitation in the way you can feel that um, 
that that calling and responding to that calling and what can we do together and and because it's about uniting all generations really and how we can, when we the the adults role models the elders how we can support encourage and guide the younger generation and how the younger generation can say yes we've got a voice yes we believe in ourselves and we believe that we can contribute mm -hmm. even though mm -hmm. we are young we still you know we have our own wisdom because you are coming on this mother earth with your wisdom you got it is in you so you don't have to be 30 or 40 <laughs> or 50 or 60 <laughs> you can still share your wisdom mm, i feel very much guided by my son mm. the way that what he needs and, and the way that that he navigates he's really showing me the way in many ways yeah. so when i listen i learn from him yeah. yes yeah. yes and 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 this is this is uh, having been a teacher for the last 30 years that's another reason why i am so passionate and so I, i'm dedicating my 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 energy into this project because i have always been involved in educating children and young people and and i believe i believe that they they are they are ready <laughs> they are ready to do it it's just just seeing that you as an adult as well you are on board and i think i think because the children even if they um, say yes to it if they don't feel encouraged by their own parents or teachers like what happened with you lena uh, back when you were much younger if you don't feel encouraged uh, if you don't feel nourished as a child as a young person even if you feel the urge the calling they may say they may just re retreat and mm. uh, so this is something that i would like you as an adult as as an educator as as a parent as a caregiver whatever your role may be to feel really deeply and say what can i do to create a space for my child for my teenager to be part of this project yeah so and also and to appreciate the small things every day that people lead us and guide us yeah. yeah and bless you know we we have been so challenged in the last few months with the whole pandemic crisis and that you know you had the choice either to feel the separation even more and to feel you know to start being more judgmental and you know allowing the anxiety and the fear to creep in or the other option was to to lean in faith and love and connecting with other people you know bring, coming together as a family unit uh, and and saying you know what can we learn from the whole experience that we're going through what can we change how can we adapt mm -hmm. uh, and and that's why I believe that this, this project is also about bringing families together because as you said, Lena, you and your son, uh, you have, you have, you know, had a discussion, you had an exchange of ideas, you had this, their creativity has been flowing between the two of you. So it could happen between other parents. It could be a topic of conversation between you and your children. Mm. Um, so allow it, allow that's, I think that's uh, that's, part of the the a in the rainbow allowing yeah. for things to unfold uh, without trying to control or trying to manipulate or trying to direct them in specific ways let them you know just hold the space for them i think mm. that's the best thing you can do and yeah, we talked about early on as well that i mean it, they don't have to choose any different any certain way of expressing themselves i mean some have a lot to say but when it comes to writing then they run into a writer's block mm -hmm. and then you can just tape what they say record it and help them transcribe it or whatever age and whatever so so the process becomes fun that's how yes. i write things today because i finally finally allowed that my greatest strength is definitely not writing either <laughs> And if I if I record things and write it down and then read it again when I've recorded it and then I can hear and feel how it works and where I can change it and make it more fun or whatever, 
So the way, the, the process of creating things is, is also part of the joy for me. Mm-hmm. And finding new ways instead of the things or the ways that I thought were the only ones. So really a lot of amazing discoveries, not just a discovery, but making room for them to mm-hmm. play the part that they can play. So a big inspiration is coming to me these days on, on that. And that's, that is an Beautiful. amazing joy. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So all of a sudden always... like, I can write. <laughs> Yes, yeah. there are Ooh. always, 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 <laughs> there are different ways and different solutions uh, open to you when you start believing and you start saying yes to yourself, say, saying yes to an opportunity, say yes to possibility. So our mind would like to 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 would like to protect us and and keep us in the same position as you have always been in your comfort zone and that's what the mind or the ego would like to keep you there because it's about protection right uh, and sometimes it it does we don't we do need that <laughs> to really think about first before we do anything else but if we're allowing the old ways to to be part of the, our future and not just breaking out of the comfort zone and breaking that ceiling. And that's why I'm wearing coral today <laughs> because coral is a wonderful color to, to bring your voice out and become more visible. And um, you may say, it, you may say, but you're already visible. Well, I am becoming visible now in a, in a much wider way, if you like. And I'm representing more and more of, of other people and, and people's voices and talents. And I am holding space for all of you. So my energy needs to be, you know, calibrated to be able to hold space for that bigger project, much bigger broad project I've ever done before in my life. So, so yes, I am breaking the silly big time and we don't stop. We don't stop breaking the ceiling and it, it, whatever ceiling we are putting, it's, it's our ceiling. Nobody else puts that there. If you want to stay there, you will always stay there. If you want to, to go up a level, you can go up a level. You can have a better view. It's up to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah. I love how you show the way of, of transforming and using the colors for that. We talked about the yellow mm-hmm. and that elevating and unfolding and touching and reaching the the gold Mm, yes yes would you like to share a little more about that (laughs) yes yes, yes, yes. well part of my journey is to really um, embrace other philosophies and other um, ways of understanding and becoming more aware of, of our inner potential arena gold right so the system of color mirrors has been part of my life for a number of years now but i have also been drawn to the very old and wise philosophy and 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 system of numerology and working with the numbers the wisdom of the numbers so i bring these two together and i tell you what all the wonderful reports and analysis i've done over the last few years and recently that I have also felt more connected with people that are coming together with this project, the Rainbow Letters to Mother Earth. Um, it's incredible that actually I am connected with people with vibrationally, we are, we are in harmony, right? So we are feeding one another, we are supporting one another, we are complementing one another. And, and I always ask your date of birth when you actually connect with me about this particular project <laughs> or any other project. I said, look, I'm not curious. I want to know your age. I just want to find out (laughs) what your life path number is. Uh, And, uh, and then of course, you know, I can find out lots of other things through your date of birth because your date of birth, uh, your chart has, has got so much, you know, uh, insights, so many insights that, that when you start connecting with those insights, doubled and, and amplified with the energy of color, which is it is a really high vibrational energy 
uh, then then you are if you if you are at any any sleeping mode because we are all you know waking up at different parts of ourselves right and we are embracing more and more pa different parts of ourselves then then uh, then when you are given these revelations these these insights about who you are then you are allowing for the ascension process to come and I tell you, it comes faster and faster. The acceleration is incredible because you once you, you start connecting the dots and you're allowing to see more of who you are and you have got it in front of you and you read through it and you connect with me and we have a consultation and all that. And, and Lena, when, you, when I uh, analyzed your date of birth, I said to myself, let me just double check and I've got my calculator <laughs> because I always want to make sure I'm not making any mistakes. It's very important. So I'm calculating again. So it's coming to the same life path number as me. Well, you may say, so what? But not only that, when you add up all the digits in your date of birth, your day, the month and the year, all coming down to the same number myself and Lena comes down to number 28. And 28, again, it has to break it down to number 10, and number 10 comes down to number one. So we both have got, myself and Lena, we've got life path number one. And one in the system of color mirrors connects with the beautiful and powerful sun, planet, the sun. And of course, what color can you probably attach to the sun? <laughs> the yellow, right? So, so we are both, our, our soul uh, color is yellow, but the yellow is actually being, there's a process through which we are learning to go through as we are reaching mastery, if you like, as we are moving through the different stages to appreciate more who we are. So from the yellow that is, is the color of the ego, is the color of the leader. Number one and, and yellow is somebody who is going to be really, is the joy bringer, is somebody who is going to, is the way shower, is going to go ahead and, and show the way and pave the way and say hello, come along, come. Let's play together, let's do something together. So, so the, the ego is, of course, you have to trust yourself to go ahead and make something happen like that. So, so, but you like also to come from a space as a leader, you want to come from a space of truth, integrity, and authenticity. To be a, to be a spiritual leader, that's where mm -hmm. you need to come from. To be able to connect with other people and saying that you're not coming from your ego self you're coming from your spirit from your soul and and that's the ascension process from yellow to gold and when we are going through this ascension process we're also demystifying any any masks any we're releasing any masks we have put on we are becoming truer to who we are really we are embracing our own truth uh, and, and all the gifts that we've got and all our imperfections too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so being authentic is actually, is, is not like uh, you, are, you, are, you have no flaws or you're, you know, it's, it is on the other hand, it's actually, you've got to have the, the balance being a human and being a soul in a body. Yeah, so it is how, so how you, you embrace both being, being, being a human, being, um, being here on this Mother Earth um, and, and connecting with your soul purpose and expressing that in everything you choose to do. So for you, Lena, you actually now you, you connect more with, your, with yourself and I guess saying yes to becoming more visible and coming out and speaking from your heart and saying yes to setting up your own business and that takes a lot of courage mm. takes a lot of faith trust 
and belief and self-belief yeah and belief that things will work out uh and yeah and that that's where that's where you know we started off that's that's the bottle 2018 system and that's our bottle that's uh, that's the the yellow and and uh, on the top and turquoise at the bottom and it's called new beginnings mm. so this is this is where this is where you are you know as a number one as a as a life path number one you are there to say yes to new beginnings and pave the way for other people to inspire the people to say yes to a change to say yes to shifting to transforming to liberating yourself and and take the step to move forward yeah uh, and by doing that you're opening up yourself and other people's other people's doors you 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 give the golden key to open up to other possibilities and and opportunities yeah <laughs> it's an amazing journey i have to say it's I'll be totally honest, I never ever thought of myself as a leader. So it was a bit of an aha moment <laughs> when, when receiving, and that's the other part of receiving the input, but then really feeling into, into the trust and feeling into what was really longing to be expressed. I could feel that, that it was that part that was calling me the, the, actually the call to lead myself, to mm -hmm. start by leading myself. And then it doesn't matter really what happens. I'm just really happy to be following that path and then to sharing what I have learned. Maybe others don't have to learn the same way or can learn faster. Hopefully children will embrace their expressions and creativity and skills much, much faster than I did. So by sharing the story, the learnings others can learn by sharing that I'm really not that great at writing. I get writer's blocks that I can use the, the audio, I can record it and then I can all of a sudden write it down and I can, I can enjoy that process too. So hopefully in that way, yeah it will lead to all kinds of amazing things. But that's a, that's a, a trait of a leader to envision something, but always to provide alternatives because only the leader can see far ahead, right? But the others, when you are offering solutions and alternatives, how to overcome different obstacles, how to overcome different challenges, then they can carry on following you, carry on playing with you, carry on co-creating with you. Yeah. So, so you, you are, everybody's a leader. I believe that we are all, you know, leading yes. from yes. within. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and, and so, some people have got that destiny, if you like, to, to, to be the leader. But I, I believe everybody, you, you are all leading your own lives. You're all, you know, your own leaders. It's just, it's just that there are some people that are destined to, to say, yeah, there's the clarion call, you know, the, the, whatever you use to do the trumpet, you know, to say the clarion call, come on, folks, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we all have all of the essences and some of them are just more predominant, calling us a little bit louder. <laughs> yeah. but we can access and we have all of them. And I think yeah. that's amazing like all of the colors of the rainbow yes yeah. absolutely absolutely mm. and we have got uh, the colors of the rainbow they uh, they are all inside every single one of us it's mm. uh, it's, uh, it's it's exactly it's exactly the the red and the yellow and the orange and the green and uh, the blue and the indigo blue and the violet you know, they're all connected with each of the chakras in our system. Yeah, so we all got this inside of us. And they're all together, you know, holistically. They are bringing out this beautiful, magical <laughs> expression of who we are. Yeah. 
So that's where the rainbow stands as well for me. It's about unity. It's about um, every single color comes together and creates this beauty, the, the wonder of life and the hope, the, the possibilities are there. And we say yes to, to, to life. At whatever crisis they may, it, may, it may turn up, we still say yes to life. And to embracing all of the colors that it offers us and that it shines to us that we already have yeah. <laughs> because we are one. And let's, for me, it's about shining together. The beautiful stars mm. when they are in the sky, you know, it's not just only one star, it's like lots of stars and you create mm. these wonderful, you know, designs, you know, shapes or whatever. And they create that magic in the sky. So... Or it could be formations of birds coming together, or fish coming together, or plants coming together. It's just, I think togetherness is part of, of, of who we are as well, you know, unifying us and, and seeing that there's no separation. And see, uh, that's, that's why also this, the project with the Rainbow Letters to Mother Earth is, you know, there's, it's so multi-layered and multicultural as well, because the, the 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 entries are coming from different countries, different nationalities, different ethnicities, different languages, different ways of seeing life as well, perceptions of life, mm. uh, and that's what that's what I love about it as well. <laughs> <laughs> that you know we are all different, but at the same time we are all uh, you know craving the same thing. We're all we all want to to be happy. We all want to have a joyous life. Uh, and it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter what nationality or gender you may be or profession you may be. So we all we'll want to, to be happy and, and all our old teachers and parents and everybody, we want our children to be happy and have a happier life. And for that, we need to create that space to, to, to create a better place for them on this planet Earth. Mm. And we need to start to be more responsible and we need to act. And the time is now. <laughs> there is no, no way to say, I'll leave you for another year, leave you for two years down the line. No, no, dear ones, the time is now. And the time is, it is, you know, it has shown clearly with this pandemic that we've got to take inspired action. We cannot mm. just wait. It's, it, is, it is about, it is high time that we all do our, our bit. We all contribute in whatever way we'd like to contribute. Yeah. So there you are. There you are. We can carry on talking for longer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like a bit like a dance. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. I will be speaking more because there's one of the of the colors that um, also also that you know. Apart from a personal chart based on your date of birth, I also look at uh, your business chart. So, so Lena has got a new business, and mm -hmm. the name of the business has you know created has been formulated. Uh, from her heart, from her intuition, uh, from from your own, you know, sort of playing with with what is possible, what is available, what is. So, so when we analyzed, you said you say I would like I would like to 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 find out more of how the colors, you know, because you can get your um, better understanding and in depth understanding of of your particular business frequency mm. and how it reaches out to others but how it connects with you as well with your own path mm. um, and when we did that <laughs> oh goodness me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so your business name is how hard can it be so when we looked at it, the, the, when I analyze uh, your business name chart, then I'm looking at the individual words because each word has got its own frequency. Mm -hmm. Every single letter has got its own frequency. 
that's based on the numerology um, uh, wisdom and uh, it's not something I am coming <laughs> for myself it's something that's been existing for for years and years thousands of years my my dear my dear Greek uh, fellow Greek uh, Pythagoras <laughs> he's the one to blame <laughs> so um, so when we analyze each word, and in particular the word that, uh, it, that I would actually like to share with you here is the word heart. Uh, the word heart. And when, and probably you've seen it, when you actually you rearrange the words, heart has got the same letters as the word earth. So, so the word earth is in, within rainbow letters to mother earth. And the word heart is within Linus' um, business. How hard can it be? And of course, the, then the frequency of the actual number, when you add up all the numbers, individual numbers from the letters, then it comes to a wonderful bottle in the system that is called faith. <laughs> and faith has got two two. This bottle has got two particular colors. One of them has already mentioned the, the gold, and the other one is turquoise. So you got gold and turquoise. Let me see if I've got some gold here. Got the gold and turquoise, or you can maybe have a softer one, a softer gold. I think that's more appropriate, a softer gold. So when you have these this two, they create, they create the possibilities come from your heart mm. yeah and i think another totally totally amazing because i'd created the business name already um, and it was because i hit a point in my work life where someone posed the question but how hard can it be asking me to do all kinds of things really quickly and i didn't feel i could do it well enough and i was so frustrated by that and instead of, I actually allowed the frustration because it felt really frustrating. And by allowing it, I could also come through it. And I could find out why. And I was so challenged because I wanted the exact opposite. I wanted to know how well, how well can we do it? I know that perfect doesn't exist for very long at a time. But great solutions today and even better solutions tomorrow there's always options to do really well and to look for those and the energy in looking for what's great and can be greater is is amazing mm. so in that way i just knew that how hard can it be is the is the empowering question that i navigate by and when we looked at the chart for the business then my own two colors the yellow and the turquoise were also part of the chart so it's like okay well this truly is my business <laughs> it, it really is it really is my a foundation where I can be all of who I am and I can accompany that with the the other um, elements that that are there and that are being built and called for when I when I work with with my with my business yes Perfect. So, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> lots of other, lots, like, of, okay. lots of other revelations uh, within yeah. within that. Uh, yes, absolutely. Could be, it could be the point of a conversation another time, right? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> that, absolutely. <laughs> and the more that I learn and grow, the more the more I'll know and share mm. and yeah, enjoy. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be a very colorful journey in many ways. Yes, yes, yeah, indeed, indeed. So let's let's uh, let's see what we can all bring in in this wonderful journey. And and I, I would just urge you, don't hold back. You know, just just say yes and uh, and and turn up and show up and shine your inner rainbow. We love to see your rainbow shining. We love to see every single one of you to come forth and say, how can I help? What can I do? How can I support? How can I contribute? How can I be of service? And I'm sure 
there will be lots of wonderful ways you can contribute. So I leave it to you to reach out to us, to myself, to Lena, to other uh, members of the team of Rainbow Letters to Mother Earth and see how you can uh, respond to the calling, respond to a planet in crisis and see what we can all collaborate with and co-create with. And, uh, and that's part of this amazing journey, you know, creating and living a legacy, make, making a difference. Uh, and, and I believe the children are our future. And I'm sure that those of you that you feel a calling, you feel the same way and you believe in that too. So thank you so much, Lena, for this wonderful exchange of soulful musings, colorful musings and creativity and flow, trust, playfulness. Thank you so much for joining me here, dear heart. And thank you for bringing your wonderful light out there, your own gifts. Looking forward to sharing your gifts through this wonderful project as well and through how hard can it be. Yes. I think I'm the one being really grateful and I think that never journeying alone is is one of the most amazing things about the journey that we're all journeying together and by doing amazing things like the rainbow letters to mother earth it just yeah the colors that we never thought could unfold just kind of appear and make themselves visible and they just want to come along so we i think in this way we don't even have to reach out for them that they just come along and thank you so much for inviting me to join thank you for saying yes <laughs> <laughs> i always i always say that you know because people say oh, thank you so much for inviting me well by the way the invitation was there but you said yes to it <laughs> yes, i do i do say yes <laughs> oh, fabulous fabulous yes. and i would love i would love you watching this back or listening to our um very intimate and playful exchange between myself and Lena uh, to uh, comment and say hi and, and respond to the calling and respond in a way that speaks to you as well. But we would love to have you on board. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. <laughs>